Hi, Terror friends. It's uh, Jade here with Terrier Truth, and I'm back with another installment, or the next installment in my uh, Walk Through the Tarot series. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about the Empress. This is the third card, or I guess fourth if you count the Fool in the Tarot. And what I'm going to do, similar to uh, previous previous uh, videos on this is I will leave the RWS version so this one here is the Radiant Wise Spirit um, up and then I will show you my other 40 um, odd uh, different decks including at the end the ancient uh, some ancient Italian and Tarot de Marseille decks just so that you can see the the differences I will go through them fairly quickly so if you would like to compare them a little bit more, then you're always uh, free to pause the video. So here's a RWS version. Uh, everyone sees this. She's the only one in the entire deck, uh, as far as I can tell, that uh, is seated on a cushion super comfortably, which is right she should. She's the Empress. Okay, so in terms of meanings, I'm going to read the book meanings. Um, I kind of start with this. I, I don't look at the, uh, by the way, the book meanings that I will read, I'm looking at from multiple sources. So every one of the, um, every one of the guidebooks that came with my decks and multiple Rider Waite Smith um, sources, so books and as well as um, different tutorial videos and whatnot um, from, diff from different different. Uh, Anyway, all kinds of different sources, in other words. I'm just going to read a few that sort of resonate with me. But with each of these, I don't um, I don't memorize any of these. I read them for context, and not everything is going to apply in every reading, right? Um, so I, I use them as a sort of base, and then layer on the meanings that I see from the, from the actual card that relate to the specific question. Um, so everything doesn't always mean the exact same thing every, um, every reading. I think that would be pretty boring for me anyway. Uh, so for the Empress, the, um, the Rider Waite Smith, let's look, let's actually start with the kitchen table tarot. Um, the kitchen table tarot says everything you touch grows. You're a nurturer, protector, lover. Tara Delanui says, abundance, protection, birth, fertility, nature, mother. Abundance is around you. Deeply connect to your feminine energy and give birth to all your potentials. You've been growing ideas for a while and now is the time to act on them. Be part of nature and listen to it. Play a caring, nurturing, loving role for those around you. Feel and create in abundance. Um, the... Game of Thrones, <laughs> just for fun, let's throw that one in. It says, the matriarch, fertility, creativity, authority, abundance, peace. The empress denotes the mother, wife, or an influential female. She symbolizes care, security, abundance, so relationships flourish. The card can also predict a child. She represents stability and love. Creative projects also flourish under her influence and home life is harmonious. New opportunities unfold, finances improve. The vice versa tarot, and I'll, I'll show you that card in a bit. The front um, says union, creative love, inner growth, matrimony between the heavens and the earth, voluntary loss of oneself. On the shadow side, the flip side, um, the meaning indicated is the gateway through which creativity enters our life to create but also to subvert and destroy the old. Teramuha, she is the embodiment of nature herself, the life giver, the sustaining love of the earth offering its bounty. She is the source of all inborn talents, blessing each of us with unique attributes that will serve us in our mortal incarnation. 
The Empress nurtures the gifts within us, encouraging, encouraging as a mother encourages her children to be all they can be. Her power is not just her earthly abundance, but in her feminine intuition and vision. She has great dreams for you and will help you bring them into being. Honor her by living a fruitful and grateful life, creative bounty, nurturing care. Uh, one more. Let's throw in the everyday witch. Um, abundance, nurturing, and female power. She is the embodiment of all that is female and powerful, give, gifting us with abundance, strength, and growth. She is the cycle from birth to death. She reminds us that all women are divine. She is the personification of growth and possibly, and possibility. With her on your side, you can achieve anything. She reminds you to embrace growth, abundance, and your own feminine power. Are you nurturing yourself and your own endeavors? She may represent you or some strong woman in your life, a woman or a role model or someone with that strong nurturing energy. She can help you. Also means um, pregnancy. And last one, let's put in the crow tarot. This one says motherhood, abundance, business success, creativity, element is earth. She sends a loving message to take time to pamper yourself and to embrace the feminine energy within all of us. Her spirit is pure love and bringing things to life. She asks you to go into nature to feel the soothing and healing power that invigorates the soul. New birth. All right, and then on the shadow side, um, a warning that the lack of harmony you're feeling is a result of being discontent disconnected from your friends, family, or from nature. Your heart is shielded, making building relationships difficult. Go inward and be creative. Only when you can accept yourself and direct your heart's energy inward will you be free to radiate love and compassion outward to others. Okay, so I'm just going to show you quickly uh, the other cards. So this is the Gilded. Oops, the Revelations Tarot and reversed quite differently eh? the muse aquarian the mermaid dame darcy Emerging Toronto Artists, Shadowscapes, Chicoli, Mystical Manga, Pagan Other Worlds. Sorry about the lighting, it's not quite right here. Um, crystal, um, crystal, um, oh my gosh, crystal visions, dame, uh, oh my goodness, dark mansion, mystic Mondays, the crow tarot, The New Mythic, Mystical Manga, Spiral, Joie de Vivre, Everyday Witch, Teramuha, The vice versa. So it's the front and the back. Okay. 
Game of Thrones. John Bauer. The Housewives. <laughs> the Zombie Tarot. The Art History for Past Lives. Tarot de Lenui. Santa Muerte. Just for fun. Spirit of Halloween. Wild Unknown. Hidden Realms. The Fountain Tarot. And the next world tarot. Let's see if I can get that whole thing in there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to move those over to the side for now. And I'm going to now go through the... So that's all the RWS-based decks and in these videos I'm only doing the RWS base decks and the Ancient Italian and Marseille. The Ancient Italian and Marseille are, are read uh, pretty well the same I think. Um, I haven't studied Thoth or um, I haven't studied Thoth at all yet and I do have a couple of decks that are also very different have their own systems so I'm not going to bring those forward. Um, so here is my beloved Soprafino deck, or Ancient Italian, and let's see what the book says about that one. Bear with me for a few seconds. Okay. So this one says, mothering, fertility, sexuality, abundance, material prosperity, pleasure, Comfort, power, nature, delight, desire, physical attraction, health, sensuality, beauty, satisfaction, femininity. She represents fertile nature, a fruitful motherly figure who nurtures, sustains, and feeds others. Often shown as pregnant, she represents the creation of life, romance, art, or business, or the germination of an idea. She is the mother goddess and represents Venus, Ishtar, Isis, and many other mother goddesses. She represents the cyclical nature of the natural world, summer and winter, life and death. She may represent the chaotic nature of the life force itself, the uncontrollable aspect of nature, or refer to an object of desire. On the shadow side, uh, she can represent creative blocks, dependence on others or infertility. She may represent difficulties in the mother aspect. It may indicate a creative block, infertility, barrenness, dependence on others, or domineering, suffocating motherliness. Advises uh, the seeker to rise to the challenge and work to overcome these difficulties. Okay, so that is not the meaning that actually came with this deck. Um, that is meaning that um, Sorry, I just realized I had the wrong page, but that is the meaning that came with, um, it came from a, from a website, which I'm trying to find now. If I can, if I can find it, I will link it. Um, and as I was going through, I realized that the meanings didn't meet, it didn't matter which, um, deck you chose, whether it was a Marseille or an ancient Italian or the RWS, the meanings came out the same. This lady, this empress, uh, well, there's not a whole lot of greenery or um, nature around her, right? She's seated in her power. 
she's got her scepter she's got her um her eagle she's she's a powerful woman um in her own right and so i think that that the meaning that i just read i don't i don't agree with for here uh, it doesn't mean that she can't be motherly but this is not someone you go whining to i think if um your sister if your sister pinched you um <laughs> i just don't believe i just don't believe that so i think she's more about um action development progress fruitfulness and um you know maybe the maybe fertility in some way but to me she's to me she's more action oriented not so much the the nurturing motherly type but that is my opinion everyone is welcome to their own this is the tarot of the master which i trimmed again very similar she is um there's a little bit more comfort you know she's got a she's got a cushion there and uh, things are a little bit more ornate around her but she's still seated in her power We will go to the one JJ Swiss. Again, same thing. She, this is a woman, this is a ruler in her own right. Uh, yeah, that's really all I can say about that. Let's go to the Marseille style. So this is the Tarot Classic. And let's see what the Tarot Classic book has to say about that. Bear with me for one moment, please. Okay, the Empress. This card symbolizes feminine progress, action, development, fruitfulness, fertility, attainment, accomplishment, interest in the day-to-day -day details of daily life, mother, sister, wife, marriage, children, feminine influence, material wealth, evolution, sometimes subterfuge, female guiles, harassment, spendthrift, nagging, capable of motivating others, a leader, makes decisions founded upon all the facts at hand, the motivation behind a successful partner or husband, businesswoman, level-headed, practical, decisive, intuitive. On the shadow side, vacillation, inaction, lack of interest, lack of concentration, indecision, delaying accomplishment or progress, anxiety, frittering away of resources, loss of material possessions, infertility, infidelity. Okay, that came from the Tarot Classic by Stuart Kaplan. And so the uh, classic Marseille, um, Marsiglia Classico by Il Manigallo pretty well the same just a uh, different different coloring actually the marshmallow Marseille again a very very similar and last but not least is my tattoo tarot again same thing these are women that are fully in their power Right, so that is what I have for you today. That was the Empress. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you're still here, <laughs> uh, let me know. Do you see this um, Empress based on your experience and your readings and whatnot um, and your studies? Do you see the Empress um, any particular way? Do you see her more? And actually, do you look at the, um, if you read the different systems, do you read her as a ruler? Um, and her as a mother, but do you, does it matter to you which system you're in when you read this? I would love to know. Please let me know down below. Uh, please comment and, and uh, yeah, if there's any other meanings that you have come across um, based on your intuition or based on your, or on your studies, I would love to hear because I'm, again, I'm, I am studying, um, I'm just going gangbusters studying these systems next year. I want to do something slightly different. So um, I would love to hear. I've, I'm sort of 
cramming, I guess. <laughs> and doing these videos is part of that and helps me to remember. So hopefully this was um, useful. If you have any questions, please do let me know down below. Or if there's anything else that you would like to see specifically, please let me know as well. And please don't forget before you leave to hit like and subscribe and uh, pass it on to your friends as well. Anyways, bye for now.